Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by, by the amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And today we've been greeted by a special guest today. We have, uh, we have Buddy Starr with us today. Buddy's been very influential and a big part of the solar community here in, I'd say, the Northeast and as well as Pennsylvania and the tri-state area as well. Buddy, uh, Buddy has a pretty impressive resume and a pretty long-standing time uh, relationship with solar and the electrical industry. So, uh, so thanks, for thanks for being here today. Yeah, glad to be here, Ted. Thanks for having me on. Well, great, great. So tell us, uh, tell us a, little about, a little bit about you. Sure. So uh, me, I moved here to Massachusetts um, about three years ago, actually in May. So it's been three years uh, to start my solar journey, but I've been with CED for 12 years. Wow. Um, started in our Pensock in New Jersey branch. Um, then moved to Bethlehem shortly after that in Pennsylvania. Then um, I got to run my first profit center, our first branch in um, Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Then Scranton, and then finally I arrived here in Massachusetts. And right. uh, yeah, I've been loving it. So, so you were slowly moving way up northeast, then yep. Jersey to Pennsylvania, and then <laughs> exactly just kind of following the okay. opportunities as they popped up. And um, you know, the solar thing I, I kind of saw from from the outside. You know, I always ran the electrical shops mm -hmm. and. Uh, looked really interesting. Obviously, you know, the numbers were, were really impressive and, right. you know, it was a growing industry and, you know, it was kind of gridlock in a lot of the electrical side of things, especially in kind of rural Pennsylvania. So looked like a great opportunity and, uh, you know, packed up. My wife and I moved up here and it's been, uh, it's been running pretty hard from day one, uh, but we've certainly been enjoying it. So That's great. Yeah. So your background was first electrical and mm -hmm. then to solar, which Correct. I think you would agree with. A lot of people today are just getting into the electrical industry yep. and just going straight into solar and don't have much of a background, which I think for sure. you guys and for Green Tech locally, for companies like us that use you guys a yep. lot, um, I think it speaks volumes. I think it gives us an advantage mm -hmm. as, as a customer, as a client. Sure. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I think um, having the electrical background is certainly important. I mean, you know, since I've been here, I've hired probably 30 some people and a lot of them on the sales side, a lot of them young, brand new out of college, mm -hmm. you know, kind of first jobs. So they don't have the electrical background yet and they're diving right into solar, but, um, and, and they're doing fine, but I, I don't like to forget our roots. You know, it's, it's sure. uh, an important part. You know, I tell people electrical equipment is solar equipment, you know, it's all part of this it trade. Is. So um, we study that, we learn that. I, I challenge guys to continue to learn that stuff. I, I agree, I agree. I think it's, uh, I think it's a, a good foundation which to build on. So. Yep. So your role at your location, what is it? What is it specifically? What are you? Yeah, I mean, I'm the manager for the, for the location, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're not big title people over there or anything like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have, I have an awesome staff of folks that we've all kind of, uh, you know, we've hired in the last, you know, two or three years. You know, most of these are 2017, 2018 or 2019 hires, yeah. pretty much everybody. So it's a great story. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're a growing business. And you know, the thing that gets me going is is uh, all the customers we serve. You know, the biggest difference I think from the electrical trade to the solar trade is is just that. You know, the the electrical trade is you know generational contractors. You know, not a lot of moving and changing. And in, in solar, it's you know all you entrepreneurs uh, getting out there and yeah. and uh, working hard and and uh, and uh, starting up these companies. And and uh, I think it's awesome to be a part of it. You know, that's- I agree. I that's agree. the this biggest is, difference I'd say. It's a is, fun movement, yeah. right? What we're doing in this whole, it's, it's like energy forever has just been coal and oil and natural gas. Yep. And then solar just kind of kicked the door in, almost like the Kool-Aid man through the wall, just we're sure. here and don't ignore us anymore. And I think it's going back to, to your shop and, and you know, CED in particular for what, where you are. I think it speaks volumes about, so you know, you've been there a few years sure. and you know, I've, we've been working together for years at this point. Yeah. And I think it speaks volumes about like your management style and, and your team around you that the most of the people that I've been seeing, I've been going in there, like I said, for years, they're still the same people. And it's like a going in there that, that, sure. that camaraderie of we're all doing the same thing with the energy. And I think it's great, but also being able to go into a place like CED and being able to, hey, Ted, what's happening? And it's not yeah. just, who are you? And it's any of the guys. And it's, it's like a real, real nice, close-knit organization all sure. of us are in. I like that. I think it's, I think it's a huge part. It's well, thank important. you. Yeah, yeah, we try to build the team first atmosphere. You know, we don't mm -hmm. have uh, a lot of lone wolves out there, right? We're all, we're all kind of in it together. And, and everybody kind of starts 
in the warehouse, you know, they know what yeah. we actually do, the nuts and bolts of our project. And then we kind of build them up, get them into the sales office and then, you know, get them out on the road, talking sure. to customers. And at the high level, you know, these guys are kind of working with, you know, business people like yourself. I mean, the business side of solar is really kind of fascinating to me and the finance side and all the stuff I didn't learn three years ago in the electrical trade, yeah. you know, certainly is a major part of, uh, of the solar trade. So, well, that's just it. The, the solar financing side, I think, I think especially in the last 36 months, um, it's transitioned, you know, for the first, we'll say maybe 10 or 12 years has got nothing on where it's been the last two to three years and what's developing and what continues to develop, especially right now with the whole virus situation and, mm -hmm. you know, the goods and the bads that are coming from it that will come from it too in the future. Um, can you speak to like what you're seeing in the industry right now? Because, you know, the followers here, they, they hear me talk about what's going on on our side of it. But sure. from your side, obviously, you have a different set of binoculars. What is it you guys are seeing right yeah. now? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, me personally, you know, I feel very optimistic still. I, I think, um, you know, the top of the funnel for solar is still, you know, bigger than it's oh, ever yeah. been. And, Agreed. Um, but when it gets down to it, sure, on the finance side, there's some fear out there, right? You know, there's, you know, fear of default. You know, we've never kind of been down this test before. It's kind of a stress test mm. for all the solar loans that are out there now. And I think that's going to be, um, you know, time will tell on how that kind of resolves. Um, you know, I think at some point when lending always gets tight, I guess, at some point, you know, greed's going to overtake fear and we'll be right back into it. So um, we'll see. I mean, I think... Um, uh, you know, I'm prepared, I guess, for any outcome, but um, ultimately, I think, you know, I'm, I'm still optimistic on, on this kind of being a little blip here. Sure. And as we'll, as we'll are right we. back to it. Yeah. As, yeah. You know, we, we share that. I think yep. we talk about that enough where, um, you know, I think the companies that are prepared yep. and the companies that it's impossible to see this coming, but I think the companies that are prepared for, you know, market corrections or industry changes, I think they're always going to be rewarded as they should. Yeah. And those who just go on about business as usual every day with no plan, no strategic, what's going to happen, how can we offset and how can we hedge, I think those companies will fail. And I honestly, I think they deserve to fail. Where I feel bad is the people that work at those companies. There's some, as you know, some phenomenal people in our sure. industry. I think, unfortunately, there are more than a fair share of operators that that aren't i think they get into solar for the financial reasons only and not for like what you and i have which sure. is the environmental reasons and future generations you know sure. i think that's i think that's a huge huge part of what's been keeping it going through the tariff cuts and mm. the and the itc cuts and all those things they compound and they make it harder and I think those of us in the industry that you know i, I think a lot of people look to for information yep I think it's almost uh, required to have that sense of optimism yep. because, you know, when you lead a team, as you know, um, everybody looks to you when things are good, but everybody really looks to you when things are bad. Yeah. And um, I, I don't think it's any source of false security. I just, I just believe in what we're doing sure. as an industry so much yep. and the good outweighs the bad yep. so much more than any other type of energy generation i think it can't be ignored sure so with that i'll ask I'll, I'll ask you one more question um i guess my question is where do you see solar going from here after we start to open back up and the new normal what does that look like you think a year or two from now for you guys and, and for the industry in general yeah i mean a year or two is a pretty uh pretty good timeline to kind of get a judge beyond that it's pretty pretty uh, cloudy but um I think it's going to be just as strong as it was. You know, everybody had a really good 2019, um, you know, probably, you know, best ever um, in a lot of cases. I mean, my customers are, are you know, the, the long tail, they call it, right? You know, the local guys. Um, and, and they are built for resiliency. You know, they've had all the ups and downs of solar over the last several years, whether it's a change in tariff, whether it's a change in uh, program here in Massachusetts mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, so they're all kind of built to kind of withstand these ups and downs, the ever changing technology is changing. It's another thing every six months, you get a yeah. new cycle of what we're selling. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if that's unique to every business. You know, I haven't, I haven't been in every business. I've been in the, you know, distribution equipment side, pretty much my whole career outside of, you know, when I was younger, but, um, 
Yeah, I think our customers and, and all this kind of comes from talking to the customers, right, Ted? I mean, I get my information from you, yep. from, you know, all the other folks in the industry that, that I deal with from the manufacturing side. And, uh, and that's what kind of gives me this optimism is I'm talking to the people who are living it and uh, I'm living it with them. And that's, that's sure. really what, uh, what kind of what, where this comes from. And then, you know, just me personally, I always like to think of things positively and try to put my spin on it. And, yeah. uh, and it's been working so far. So <laughs> gonna it's keep working doing great. That. Clearly, it's yeah, working great. Yeah, we're just gonna so keep... what I've seen over the years from and you know, I was a client of Green Tech before you yeah. came up here. Yep. So what it's done since you've come in is just it's just a you can see the arc. It's 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 great. It uh, just having, you know, I think better customer service. I think also what you guys offer now, you know, your product line is grown so much. Sure. And I, I think that's you know, with the industry as it's grown. So, uh, you know, the, the relationship that I enjoy with Green Tech, I know a lot of other solar companies also do. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a good camaraderie, I think, between all of us because Thanks. we're all trying to do the right thing. So, Absolutely. so uh, congrats on, on really raising the bar over there at Green Tech. And, um, Thank you. And thanks for joining us today. So thanks for having me. This is thanks great. for uh, thanks for tuning in for all of us uh, at Solar Wolf Energy and and from uh, from from Buddy from Green Tech. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you.